the battle for Manhattan's largest apartment complex is over, and Pershing Square's Bill Ackman, the hedge fund billionaire, is neither the winner nor the loser. Monica Bertrand has more. Monica? Well, Eric, CW Capital, which is a senior lender, has reportedly cut a deal to uh, buy out Bill Ackman's Pershing Capital and Winthrop Realty's junior debt for about $45 million, the group's initial investment in August. Despite losing a bid in court to foreclose on Stuyvesant Town, investors led by Ackman appealed the ruling and have been kicking up dust as the foreclosure deadline by the senior lenders approached. Now, real estate attorney Josh Stein, who is not involved in the Stuytown case, told me there seemed to be enough uncertainty that CW Capital didn't want to take a chance with Ackman in the mix. If I'm CW Capital, I'm going to say, you know what, I don't think the guy's going to win, but I can't laugh him out of court completely, and maybe it's just sort of an insurance policy to get rid of him and to know that he'll be gone. I'll just pay him some number to go away. He's thrown up enough dust already. He's famous for throwing up dust. He's famous for asserting claims. I would just like him out of this picture, and I'm willing to pay a couple of bucks to do it. Now, Eric Ackman said in an interview yesterday that his venture was, quote, outgunned by CW's legal team in court. He said that he believed his interpretation of the loan documents was correct and that his venture was legally entitled to conduct a mezzanine foreclosure on the Stuyvesant Town property. Now, Pershing and Winthrop's joint venture bought the complex's mezzanine debt, as we mentioned, for $45 million. It was about 15 cents on the dollar. Now, for Ackman par Ackman's part, he walks away with his initial investment and he moves on to the next deal. And Deirdre, as for CW Capital, it now can move ahead with the foreclosure on the 80-acre Manhattan apartment complex.